Do you wanna do this right now? Let's do it live, you ready? We are getting the most powerful, the most versatile Swiss machine on the planet right now. This thing is insane. It could drill 20 inches deep. It has 14 horsepower on the main spindle. And I could go crazy about what's in the brochure about this thing all day, but wait until we show you what we're gonna do with this thing. A year ago, I was in Switzerland, and I actually got to check out this machine on Tornos' floor, and right away, I could tell how capable this thing was. It has so many features, so many abilities, and I couldn't wait to get it at our shop to dive into it. And now it's here. You got a knife on you? Look at that turret, dude. Everything I've seen so far has been like, you can just tell when you walk out to something, you know, it's like when you look at like a nicely made piece of jewelry or something, right? Don't be stupid. When you walk up to that machine, you can tell. You're looking at the nicest Swiss machine on the planet. This machine actually has a lot to it. It's pretty crazy. This right here is the chiller, which is freaking huge, right? I mean, look how big this chiller is just for this machine. Over here, you got a paper filter. It's insane actually, really, how like the level that they go to with the Swiss Deco. It's it's their flagship machine. This thing's no joke. This thing has the most amount of power out of any machine I've ever worked on in the Swiss world. It's even stronger than some, uh... What's up, Titan? Woo! Let's go! Swiss Deco's in the house, baby! Let's go! So obviously it still has its shipping brackets on it. It just got here, but this turret right here is gonna swivel on a B-axis, which I am just wildly excited for to have that much power. I think it's six horsepower on the live tools in the turret, which for live tools is absolutely insane. So there's not another machine like this on the planet that is a Swiss lathe that has the ability to do angled live tool work and have that much power. Oh well, yeah, dude, check this out. Look at this. So uh, Titan's getting his Defender all stickered up. Look at this, this is pretty cool. But yeah, look at this. Titan's getting it all blacked out. Dude, this thing looks nice, man. This thing looks nice. You guys have taken this whole thing apart. What was the, what was the worst part of taking this thing apart? Um, the handles for sure. The handles? Yeah. It's a nice car, man. It, to, to have to rip all the door handles and stuff off, I'm, I'm really impressed. You guys did a really good job. Check yeah, this. Thank you. Check out the logo. The whole Titan Eagle on the side of the car, man. That's awesome. What's the name of your company, dude? Uh, Jay's Tennant Cardio in downtown Dallas, close to downtown Dallas. You know, you guys did a really good job, man. It's awesome. I love getting to like see these new machines and just seeing how they're built. It's really crazy. The Swiss, they do. They do a really, really good job on these machines. They look amazing when they come in here. And then we're just going to beat the crap out of them. <laughs> Let's look at all the options. We got Tornos in the house, you know, going through everything. This is a live tool for the turret. Ooh. <laughs> to think that's going in a Swiss machine, dude. All right, we got this machine installed. It is ready to go. I just wanna walk you around this real quick and show you some of the sweet features this thing has. So right here, we actually have two ejection systems. We have a long workpiece ejection system, and we have a short workpiece ejection system. But they all come out in the same spot, pretty much. Super cool. We have this unbelievably sweet chip conveyor here. We have our blazer can for all of our gigantic chips we'll be making. Now, if you come around the back here, they really took the coolant on this machine to a whole nother level. We have a paper filter right here. And then we have four coolant pumps back here, depending on what pressure you want and where you want that. It's honestly kind of crazy. You could see all the lines going into the machine here, where all the different coolants go through. So you have 40 bar and 80 bar high pressure coolant that goes to pretty much every single plate on this machine. It's kind of wild how they laid it all out. And when you come back here, you can see our super gigantic coolant chiller. This machine is meant to run really precise parts, really, really expensive parts. So they kind of took it to a whole nother level when it comes to keeping the coolant chilled and regulated. They didn't want it just to warm up like a normal machine. They want to keep it controlled, which is honestly next level. So good job, Tornos. Your product's rule. <laughs> and then we have our bar feeder going up into the machine. Now, one thing I like is how you have this door on the front. 
Another nifty thing, this door is super convenient. You can open it up. You are like inside the machine now working on it. I like that. And it's kind of cool. You can actually see the coupling for the ball screw where it connects to the motor. When that moves, you can see it move back and forth. I think that's kind of cool. And finally, I want to show you probably my favorite part about this machine. It's their new control with their Tysa software. It is insane. Let's take a quick look at our control here. All right, we have Tysa software running in the background of our control, which makes programming and editing this wildly easier. For example, G925 can do either tilted work plane or continuous five axis movements. Well, there's a lot of variables on G codes like this. So if I want to see what those are, I can just select G925 and go to my wizard. And this will tell me all of the possible variables that can go on that G code. That is super nifty. I don't have to run back and forth between a manual or anything like that. I can just go right up to my control and hit the wizard button and see what that code does. All my weight codes are synced in blue. And if you look right here, this is actually where the main gang and the turret are superimposed working together. It highlights that in green for me to let me know what part of the program superimpositioning is going on at, which is super helpful for when you're scrolling through all this. Now, why this stuff matters so much is because this machine runs off of three programs at once. So I have head one, head two, and head three. So it's super convenient to have everything synced up like that for me, because when you're writing three programs at once, that's kind of a lot to pay attention to. Some more features on this machine that are really nice, it's like your setup button here. This is where you do jog and MDI. But for a Swiss machine, this thing's kind of gigantic. Some of these axes are three feet long. So if I want to move an axis quicker than just sitting there all day with a hand wheel, I can actually select it. Like I'll select Z2 here. I can move it to where I want and I can just press start and it will wrap it to whatever position you just select, which again is like way faster, way easier. I really like what they did with this control. It's like modern technology finally meets the CNC world. I think a lot of us that have worked on CNCs our whole career have been complaining for quite some time that these controls are really archaic. And it seems like Tornos kind of heard everyone complaining about that and created pretty much the iPhone of CNC machines. So I really got to hand it to them. This is really awesome. So that's just the tip of the iceberg on how this machine works. We've already got our first project programmed, so we're gonna be bringing you a lot more information in our next video. I am excited to show you guys all that. If you wanna see the first project that we programmed on this, make sure you hit subscribe, hit like, and don't be stupid, ring that notifications bell. See ya.